Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to JK Cement Limited Q3 and 9 months FY23 earnings conference call hosted by Filler Capital India Private Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during this conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star and zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Vaibha Agarwal from Philip Capital. Thank you and over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Nirav. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Philip Capital India Private Limited, we welcome you to the Q3 FY23 call and 9-1 FY23 call of JKSM Limited. Uh, on the call, we have with us Mr. Ajit Vasaravi, Deputy Managing Director and CFO, and Mr. Prashant Sheikh, President of Business Information and Investor Relations. I would like to mention on behalf of, of JKSM Limited and its management that certain statements that we made or discussed on this conference call may be forward-looking statements related to the future performance, uh, future development and current, current performance. Uh, these statements are subject to a number of risks, uncertainties, and other important factors which may cause the actual developments and the results to differ material on the statements made. JKSM Limited and the manual of the company has no obligation to publicly alter or update these forward-looking statements, whether it is a new information or future events or otherwise. I will now hand over the floor to the manager of JK7 for the remaining months, which will follow by the director's hearing. Thank you, Rodi, sir. Yeah, thank you, Vaibha. Good evening, and welcome to Q3 uh, call. Uh, the board of directors uh, met on uh, 5th of February to review the performance uh, for the quarter and nine month end date, uh, 30th December. And the major highlights uh, for the quarter are as under. Uh, revenue from operations was 2,288 crores as against 1,940 crores in the previous quarter, an increase of uh, 18%. Uh, the other income was uh, at 22 crores as compared to 26 crores. The operating expenses were 2,025 crores as against 1,570 crores, an increase of 29%. Uh, the uh, EBITDA of, uh, for the quarter was 267 crores as against 377 crores, a drop of about uh, 29%. Uh, the finance cost was 66 crores as against uh, 65 crores. Uh, the profit before tax was 129 crores as against 260 crores and a drop of about 50%. The profit after tax was 97 crores as against 167 crores, a drop of uh, 42%. The EPS was uh, 12 rupees 50 pesa, as against 21 rupees 66 pesa. The EBITDA margins for the quarter was 11.95%, as against 19.83% in the previous quarter. If you see the uh, nine months uh, data, the revenues from operations have increased during the nine month period by 22% at uh, 6,596 crores as against 5,410 crores. And uh, the operating expenses were 5,636 crores as against 4,311 crores, an increase of uh, 31%. And the EBITDA for the nine month period was 974 crores as against 1139 crores, a drop of uh, 14%. The EBITDA margin for the uh, nine month period was 15.11% as against 21.46%, a drop of uh, 30%. The profit after tax uh, for the nine month period was 403 crores as against 544 crores, a drop of 26%. The EPS was 52 rupees 10 pesa as against 70 rupees 46 pesa. The, uh, during this quarter, the company has successfully commissioned the greenfield expansion in central India of uh, 4 million uh, tons, of which uh, 2 million ton grinding is uh, at Panna and 2 million ton grinding is at Hamirpur and UP. The total amount spent during up to the year uh, on the project is 2723 crores as against uh, uh, 
2,970 crores uh, balance would be spent in next uh, in this quarter. Uh, also, during this quarter, the company uh, in its wholly owned subsidiary, as you are aware, that we had decided to go in for paying business. The wholly owned subsidy acquired uh, stake in AcroPaints. Uh, uh, and 60% uh, equity of AcroPaints was acquired at, at uh, 153 crores and balance 40% shall be acquired over a period of one year. So in that way the company would be able to start the paint business uh, very soon. If you look at the balance sheet position, the standalone gross debt this, uh, as at 31st December is 2,686 crores as against 2,850 crores as on 31st March and uh, the net debt is 1,455 crores as against 1,606 crores. Uh, the net debt to equity is 0.32 as against uh, 0.38. If, as on a consolidated basis, the gross debt is 4,141 crores as against uh, 3,434 crores and the net debt is 2,871 crores as against 2,150 crores mm. and the net debt to equity is 0 0.63 as against 0 0.51. So these are the major highlights. Questions, we'll be pleased to answer them. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and 2. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Participants, you may press star and 1. To ask a question. The first question is from the line of Shravan Shah from Dollar Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, so my first question is on on, on the pricing front. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, uh, where we have seen the price increase in the third quarter. Uh, in terms of the regions uh, where we operate because uh, across the companies we have seen uh, uh, different uh, uh, scenarios which they are reporting. So some companies are reporting a growth in south uh, uh, and east. Uh, Alta Tech did not report any, any, any growth in realization QOQ. So just wanted to understand uh, 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 what was actual and for us and Post December uh, till now, uh, have we seen any any decline or increase? And how do we expect uh, 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 realization for this quarter? Uh, do we expect any price increase? So, as regards price increase concerned, we saw some increase in prices in the north uh, in the month of November. Uh, but again, uh, all the price increase which was taken by say about 15-20 could not be sustained in the market. There has been uh, this see and we saw maybe uh, during the quarter uh, maybe about uh, 5 rupees a bag net increase in the prices in the north. South the price increase had taken place but again then there was a dip in prices and uh, we are seeing you know uh, further uh, pressure on the pricing in the south and uh, as of now if you see even uh, in the north there has not been any further increase and still there is some pressure only on the pricing. Uh, yes, when the only silver lining is that the demand is good and uh, look it to me it is expect, we do expect that you know uh, Going forward, there should be and there could there are possibilities that uh, some of the there could be, the industry could take some price increase and uh, we could offset the impact of the cost increase. Uh, uh, but uh, sir, uh, what do you think uh, could be a, a, a logical reason? Uh, I understand it is difficult to 
a uh, comment uh, in terms of the region but still in terms of uh, why a uh, 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 significant pressure in prices in south uh, and even even north in now uh, when the uh, uh, full construction season is 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 uh, is going on uh, what could be the uh, reason is it the cost pressure which is cooling off or that is giving a comfort to the players that uh, uh, net net uh, we are still able to uh, 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 see the improvement in margin so uh, not to go for a price uh, hike or maybe some price reduction is fine and uh, uh, still uh, focus on the volume what are you volume is all uh, is a part of the demand in cement it is not that if you reduce prices you will get more volume it is not related volume is always related to the demand when we have seen good price increase in the east and uh, west but um, the uh, cost uh, inflation in both those areas are similar to what the producers are feeling in the north or or in the south we really do not see any plausible reason especially i would see the uh, say that the north demand is could be better than any other region and spite of that the prices have not taken place uh, to the i mean at least uh, what was expected and uh, definitely we were hoping that we would get you know uh, a price increase of 20 to minimum to 20 to 30 rupees a bag but somehow it did not happen we are just waiting and uh, i mean if, even if you look at the various results which have come out there are I mean, it is not that the the ebitda margins or anything are at a very comfortable le- level which gives a comfort to the uh, industry players not to go for any price increase but it does happen in, it only happens in cement and it is happening mm-hmm. very difficult to see why yeah got got it uh, so couple of data points uh, railroad mix for this quarter lead distance uh, fuel mix uh, power and fuel average cost uh, on uh, uh, rupees terms and in kkl uh, which is for this quarter yeah the, uh, rail movement is uh, 19% and uh, oh. lead distance is 470 km okay uh, power and fuel cost in rupees term last quarter it was around uh, 12000 and on kkl basis it was 2.4 so what was the number for third quarter yeah, it, has, it has increased by around 400 rupees per ton the fuel rate so on per kkl basis it has gone up by 20 paisa last quarter it was 2 rupees 40 paisa now it is 2 rupees 60 paisa Okay, and and now uh, in in January, so for this quarter also, how do we see? Uh, do we see the same uh, because of the inventory that we are carrying? That, that it should reduce to the level of the previous quarter, so we should see reduction of uh, minimum 20 paisa per kilo cal in the in the current quarter. Okay, got it. And and the fuel mix, uh, so petco uh, uh, 50 percent, the the same uh, uh, share remains. It is it is even higher. Pet Coke is 55 uh, percent in terms of volume, and if you see in terms of heat, around 75 percent. And in terms of the capex, last time we said uh, uh, 1900 crore for 23 and uh, 1400 crore for FY24, and now uh, still uh, 250 odd crore is remaining for Panna. So for fourth quarter, what is the capex that we are looking at, and for FY24, what's the number? So it is same at the same level. Out of the 1900 crores, we have already spent close to 1600 crores. So balance we expect 200, 250 crores in the last quarter, and the guidance for the next year remains the same. Okay, uh, sir. Last, just a, a clarification needed in in the sense that uh, we share the standalone number, standalone volume on the on the white and grey front, but now. Panna is in a subsidiary, though we are expecting it will get merged. Uh, hopefully, so you can also update whether it is getting merged by 31st uh, March or not. Uh, so on console basis, when we started uh, looking at the console to capture the value of the Panna, uh, so it uh, it's better uh, if we start giving the number for the console in the uh, in the sense that the same way we give. So what is the console gray volume? Yes. Yes, we understand that. We, we 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 will share the console number for the grey business. I mean, whatever it is there in the main company and the subsidiary and the, and for this quarter it is 36.61 lakhs. The overall grey volumes 
and the net sales was 1,789 crores. Uh, 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 sorry, sir. Uh, 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 the volume from Panna was how much? No, no, it is a consoled number. The console is 36.61. Okay. Okay, and and the grey volume for uh, the main company was 35.46. So this is 1.15 lakhs is the volume which is subsidiary. Yeah, and same for the one. Sir, sorry to interrupt you. I will request to come back in the question queue for a follow up question. Ladies and gentlemen, you may press star and one to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Naveen Sadeo from Nuama Institutional Equities. Please go ahead. Hello. Yes, sir, you're audible. Right. Thank you so much for the uh, opportunity. Uh, sir, uh, if you could just uh, help us understand the ramp up at Panna, uh, so to say, and also are there any, like, you know, uh, one off expenses or uh, stabilization related cost uh, to the same which have been let's say incurred in this quarter and may not uh, continue going ahead. So the ramp up plan for Panna you know we had all, uh, we had initiated uh, opening up of various markets uh, uh, and uh, we are confident that as far as you know uh, even in this last quarter, in the first, uh, we should have Panna, uh, you know, about 50% capacity utilization levels we should reach. And uh, the exit should be uh, much even higher than that. So we are confident on ramping up the uh, volumes of Panna. Uh, having said so, uh, yes, the plant stabilization after we commissioned the uh, kiln, uh, in the uh, latter part of November, there are, there are always a, a certain teething troubles, and it is uh, the kill is under stabilization. And as you know, the waste heat recovery power plant is yet to be commissioned, and uh, there would be some shutdowns for that purpose. So uh, you know, the and if I would say that uh, the entire project activities. You know, that will get over by sometime by March, April. And the plant should get, you know, fully stabilized in the first quarter of next fiscal year. This first time, you know, uh, there would be, you know, certain uh, additional uh, operational expenses, uh, both at the plant level and even in the market. Since we are going to see new markets, so there will be continuous you know, uh, more branding and other activities. We have already done uh, quite a bit even in this quarter, uh, certain branding activities and uh, that is reflected in our uh, EBITDA also uh, of about 20 crores is the branding activities. But, you know, if we are after making an investment of uh, close to 3,000 crores, it is a business need to do all these branding activities and uh, market development exercises. But unfortunately, they are not part of the project cost as per the accounting and they have to be treated as a revenue. And But however, this will help us and we are confident that, you know, we would be ramping up our capacity in a new market region at a, at a rate which would be uh, far more than expectation and we will do it faster. We are confident on that. This is the first line indication which also we have. Our product is well accepted in the market and we do not foresee any problem on that ground. I, I appreciate that, sir. And I understand in the previous quarter, uh, you had highlighted that uh, even as the killing, like, you know, even before it starts, uh, production, we had started seeding that market and, like, you know, uh, setting up our distribution network and overall preparations around that. So, so it's great. But, uh, just from a numbers perspective, if you could just help us understand in the standalone PNL that we are looking, how much could be, uh, let's say the cost attributable to all these activities put together, uh, which will then, like, you know, see more streamlining in the coming quarters. Is there 
some some cost associated to uh, that no sir uh, navin what will happen in in this quarter in the stand alone i would say about 20 crores is uh, there because of opening up and all the sales had been majorly the sales have been done in the stand alone company uh, right however from uh, this quarter onwards all these activities and uh, you know branding activities will be done as per accounting in the uh, in the subsidiary itself okay. so uh, that uh, major expenditure will not come in uh, into the subsidiary part but definitely when as a consol basis we will definitely see because we would need to you know uh, so the subsidiary would see a uh, higher operational cost because the plant is going when there are operational there are issues on stabilizing the waste heat is not there which would need to ha- higher power cost the fuel you know when you fire the kiln so you have different mixes of fuel there's a lot a lot of this waste, initially a wastage of fuel which uh, leads to into a higher fuel cost uh, we had you know a high inventory we had planned uh some uh, imported fresh coke uh, at for the uh, plant which was a high cost uh, pet coke which you know in in the existing operations uh, the the cost gets averaged out with different consignments but here on a stand alone basis for the uh, subsidy we have a high uh, cost fuel available which will affect the uh, you know uh, ebitda of the subsidy so having said that and it's difficult to put in numbers but i would say you know two three quarters at least maybe you know towards branding and operational cost and other a uh, 20 crores each in uh, for next uh, two three quarters two quarters 20 25 crores each may be there as a you know call it a one off for uh, stabilizing or market development and other cost that could be there which is quite normal for a greenfield uh, plant uh apni chair par just a follow up here waste recovery uh, that hooking up uh, with this new kiln will would ideally happen now directly in q2 right because you're stabilizing the kiln as we speak and then in q1 you may not want to take uh, a shutdown so fair to assume that this would happen in q2 now waste recovery no no so we are planning sometime in march april okay 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 and the student just one last question if i may uh this total capex as uh, prashant ji mentioned initially of 1900 crore uh, that is excluding what we are paying for acro paints acquisition right no 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 that includes the uh, capex for the paint business it includes the capex yeah, yeah, it includes uh-huh. no actually that has that 1900 crore indication was based on certain because earlier we were planning uh, so it was it goes as a in a stand alone as an investment it doesn't go as a part of cap but uh, and that 1900 included you know uh, i mean uh, a normal when we were putting up the plant expenditure on the plant now since we have acquired on the equity you know this quarter the cumulative the upfront but the amount spent during uh, this fiscal on on the paint business would be marginally would be higher by about 100 crores uh because we are we had planned about 175 crores and we will be uh, spending uh, in this whole fiscal uh, 275 crores on the paint business so to that extent yes but next year it will get now since we have acquired and it will uh, reduce other costs so the paint business next year investment would be lower in the paint business understood so that yeah well within uh, you know the 600 crore uh, approval with the board had given and which we had committed the there is no plan there is a, I mean, all expenditure we would be able to develop the paint business well within that 600 crores understood sir fairly clear thank you thank you so much thank you ladies and gentlemen you must start and one to ask a question the next question is from the line of keshav lahoti from hdc securities go ahead hello i yes. have the opportunity so what is what will be your lead distance maybe 2 3 quarter later which so used to be at one time 450 now it's at 475 now so how will it shape up post panna so once panna uh, when i think the lead overall lead distance will get reduced 
so you know even for the north it had increased a bit uh, because we were serving certain uh, uh, markets of panna where which was uh, which uh, which had longer lead for the from the existing north plants so post panna i think overall there should be a reduction you know when exactly maybe uh, 30 uh, kilometers reduction could be there so it may go up to 50 we are still working out on, on all the details but definitely there would be a uh, reasonable uh, 8 to 10% reduction in the latest okay so maybe something like 440 450 times yes yes we should definitely see to that those levels okay and sir how is the white cement business doing so white cement uh is doing fine otherwise when the though, uh, the pressure on the putty uh still continues that the uh, when all the other uh, you know pain manufacturers are uh, continue to be very very aggressive and we have you know uh, now uh, even in the gray two gray cement producer has also uh, entered the putty segment um in wonder cement has put up a plant in rajasthan and even uh, jk lakshmi has put up a plant in rajasthan only recently last week they have commissioned a plant in opoti in in rajasthan yeah alwar i think so and uh, there are i mean so putti uh, as far as putti is concerned I mean, it is becoming still I mean, more and more competitive uh so that is the position I mean, which is definitely having some impact on the okay okay but so the number 20 crore for branding which you mentioned is this for the entire company or just related to panna pardon the number of 20 crore that you said you spent for branding so yeah, this for the entire company an incremental amount which was spent for panna okay incremental okay got it thank you that's it from me Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You may press star and one to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Shravancha from Dollar Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, so, sir, continuing the my previous question, I was uh, asking. Uh, you mentioned that one lakh fifteen thousand is the panna volume, but uh, you also mentioned that you book the revenue in standalone. And not in the panna uh, 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 subsidiary. Oh no, no, it is not like that. Whatever volume, whatever uh, new market is fed from the uh, standalone, that revenue volume is in that company. And subsidiary, we had done the volume of 1.15 lakh tons, and that revenue is booked in the subsidiary only. Okay, so uh, so uh, the combined revenue number, the net sales combined. For the grey cement operations in the main company and the subsidiary is one seven eight nine crores, <coughs> and in the main company it is one seven three nine crores. So you see oh, what okay. happens when we were see when there was no production in the central India and we had to seed the markets of Panna. So we had to supply from the existing plant. All that booking is part of the turnover and profits and everything of the existing plants. Yeah, yeah, I I got that point. So I was looking at the only number. So and 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 the same way in terms of the white at console level, what what is the revenue and what is the volume? So uh, so netting of the UAE volume in the standalone. So I want the uh, the same number console white revenue and console white volume for this quarter. So we send you uh, by separate mail the console white numbers. Okay, okay, and and the uh, second thing in terms of the uh, the the expansions uh, in terms of the D bottle making. So two million ton we were looking at to start by this March. Uh, uh, so are we on 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 track? Is there any change? We are on track. See, it is a it's a normal abbreviation, and uh, so you know we are on track. And I think uh, before well within maybe in the last fortnight of uh, March, we should be able to conclude uh, this capacity. So we will, uh, our capacity will increase by two uh, million tons by end of this fiscal. 
So, so from the next quarter, that is the next year, about one Q FY24, that should not be a problem in terms of the uh, increasing the utilization for this extra D bottom making. So we can easily see the normal utilization what currently we have. Uh, that should be the case for the for the extra two million ton. Yeah, it will have a you know it will give us more flexibility as the market is growing, and we have not done any investment you know uh, an addition in the in the northern market. So it will give us a space to uh, expand our existing markets both in the north as well as in the south. So we will be able to do that. Okay. Uh, uh, sir, uh, though we uh, definitely uh, are not uh, uh, look at the short term borrowing as as as, as uh, a number in terms of the presentation, we only consider the uh, long term. But still, for the uh, number sake, uh, what could be the uh, short term borrowing as on uh, uh, December? So short term borrowing is around uh, between three fifty to four hundred crores. That is the working capital. Okay, okay, okay. I was I was just looking at from the uh, reported uh, gross uh, gross date number, so that's what I was asking in that sense. In the it, it is gross in the gross date, the short term borrowing is not included. Uh, no, for the for the reported uh, balance sheet, the way we report in the balance sheet on the liability side, uh, non current uh, and the current. So in non current uh, liabilities, we have a, a, a borrowing and in the short. Uh, a, a, uh, current liabilities also we have a borrowing. So that number what we report normally for the last uh, September or March, against that what's the number that I was looking at? See, actually, you know, that needs to be worked out because when you report in the balance sheet, even certain long-term borrowings which are becoming due and uh, payable within next uh, six months, they are not forming part of the long-term borrowings and it gets so you are too short in short-term borrowing. So we'll recast. We need to recast in terms of balance sheet and send you separately. Okay, okay, okay. Those are those are current maturities, and whatever yeah, yeah. The, the gross debt, we are telling you the number that includes that. It is only the working capital facilities which we are not including in the number which we are giving to you. So, so, so that is a three that to four hundred crores. So, at the standalone and console, the number remains the same, three fifty four hundred crore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, the the, uh, the console it will not be because there is some working capital facilities which the Fujara plan also has. So, so, so at console level, this number would be 500 crore uh, upwards. 500 crores. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, got it. Uh, that's it from my side. Thank you, Analyst. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you may press star and one to ask the question. The next question is from Mulan of Sanjeev Kumar Singh from Motila Loswal. Please go ahead. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity, sir. Uh, so, I wanted to understand about the brand positioning of uh, our brand in the central region uh, because the numbers for revenue and uh, volume which you gave, it looks like that the realization there is around 600 rupees lower than the normal grazement realization which we record. So, have we have we given higher discount in the beginning to make a market or uh, there is something else to read into it? No, no, we have not uh, given, yes, some additional discounts have been given and uh, that is a normal uh, course. But uh, having said so, we had placed our product in the premium category only. Okay, okay. So, and secondly, uh, so when uh, ill at uh, Panna has not stabilized, so are we feeding uh, the granulates from the north plant and that has led into higher lead distance or uh, the uh, clinker requirement is being met from uh, Panna plant as of now? So, now, as of now, mostly uh, if you look at January, then the most of the requirement has been met uh, from the from Panna itself. But in the last quarter, as I mean, uh, uh, I mean, in the quarter and the reference, the clinker only started in uh, end of November. So there was when December only as uh, we said, the uh, major all clinker has come from north only. Even whatever has been uh, fed into the existing markets, one lakh fifteen thousand, which is the standalone sale, that is also out, ma ma majorly out of clinker which has come from north. Okay, so there should be some reduction in the distance going forward in this quarter only, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you must press star and one to ask the question. Participants, you must press star and one to ask the question. Next follow-up question is from the line of Navin Sadeo from Nuama Institution. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for the follow-up. Uh, my question was about uh, merger of uh, the subsidiary Panna with the standalone entity. So, by when uh, is that uh, expected? Anytime uh, soon, please? Yeah, anytime soon when the matter is already listed with NCLT. And uh, so, I hope when there was a hearing earlier which they have given a date, uh, our next date is, you know, uh, on the 10th itself. So maybe we get, I mean, see, I, I, we can't, from our side, we already, everything has been uh, submitted and to whatever has been the requirement. It is only, I hope the hearing takes place and, uh, you know, uh, and we get the order and there are no, for, I mean, sometimes, you know, uh, and uh, the order gets reserved and or they may give another date, but otherwise it should be done very soon. Everything is complete from our side. So, so everything like you know uh, falling in place. Is it possible that March quarter uh, numbers can well be like you know Panna can well be part of the standalone entity? So, and uh, so it may not be uh, so when we can because uh, the effect though the effective date of the uh, merger is first April 2021. Uh, so we will be uh, doing that, but the actual effect of the merger you know, uh, may take some time as, uh, you know, uh, as a part of our uh, scheme, uh, state governments to, uh, you know, reconfirm on the uh, subsidies and on the, uh, you know, the tra transfer of mining leases as an abundant precaution before we actually affect the merger. Understood. Understood. And the incentive so we do not foresee any problem in that. It is being done as a part of abundant precaution. Fair point, sir. Uh, thank you for clarifying that. Uh, these incentives which are linked to the Panna project, they start kicking in now or? Yeah, yeah, so um, when we are starting in, they, they, they start coming in from immediately. So we just, though we have already, they are aware of this merger and uh, Everything is in order and they have said that they will make it effective once you bring the order copy to us. So what we have, uh, you know, uh, decided that we put it in the scheme, that the scheme should become, you know, we would like the scheme to be effective immediately on a reconfirmation that this is being transferred to the parent company. Understood, sir. Uh, so just, uh, the second question was on the paint uh, business front. Uh, I, I think Prashantji, uh, if I heard correctly, you said capex towards change this year is more like 275 crores. So I was just uh, uh, trying to uh, reconcile this because for acro acquisition we have paid about 153 crore and some another 1820 odd crore uh, is likely to be infused uh, uh, to like you know pull up the capacity to whatever is promised. So that. Total still like more like 175 no, no. odd crore. No, no. Actually what happens I mean, is that the whole consideration goes into the escrow mechanism. Okay. So I am taking the entire amount transferred to the escrow mechanism as the investment. Uh, okay. The okay. 150, uh, the first lot of uh, acquiring 60% shareholding, that has already mm -hmm. gone to the uh, shareholders, to the acro promoters. The balance amount uh, will go uh, within a period of one year in two installments, 20% after six months and 20% after, but the amount is lying in with the escrow agent. Okay. So, I am treating as far as company is concerned, the, whatever amount has gone into the escrow mechanism as an uh, investment, as an amount spent. That is the all. If we say the escrow mechanism, then the amount remains what. 
Right, right. Uh, uh, understood. Just one last question. Uh, you said putty business is getting uh, like you know even more competitive uh, as we as we speak. So now, from a company's perspective, uh, how are we, like you know, looking at this business as consistent volume increase, but sliding margins, or is there any other way we can attack this? Because I think there was also a plan of pursuing contract grind, a uh, contract the manufacturing of uh, putty at remote locations or third party locations. Oh, no, so I'll answer the uh, second part first. Uh, some. Uh, you know, uh, distributed manufacturing has already started, but that's only, you know, a small uh, pockets and not very uh, big capacity. Uh, we are getting, see, as a, what, uh, with, with the, whatever, with the tense co- competition in the putty business. Uh, so, we are, not A, able to, we have two uh, things. One is to secure the present volume and also whatever is the growth in the market to get that whatever is the market share, we don't lose the, on the market share. So, what yes. we are trying to work, I mean, uh, we were had a plan that we could be able to increase our market share. Uh, on this direction, at least in this year, what we have been able to do, at least a marginal improvement in the market share, and, uh, but we have been more or less there not to uh, lose any market share. Though the margins, because uh, there are two things on the putty front, even with the increase in the white cement cost, the white cement uh, prices, uh, the input, the raw material cost of putty are increasing. The chemicals are, cost have increased, both in terms of uh, the rate of chemicals, uh, two, because of the rupee devaluation, because chemicals are all imported. So all this is putting pressure on the uh, on, on the putty margins, and because of the uh, tip competition, the incentives have uh, are also increased because now you know the majorly the paint uh, guys are in the putty business and they are giving higher margins, which need to be matched. And as I said, the uh, two new players are getting in. So they would like to get pass on some additional mark. So again, the putty is getting from a specialized corner to a commodity. And once it get into commodity, we have to be, you know, we, we can't have that uh, edge which, uh, I mean, unless, you know, have edge in terms of, yes, though our putty is well accepted, we have a, we still command a premium in the market, we still command a preference in the market, but with both the things, we cannot, uh, our premium cannot be very high. You know, the uh, bridging of the premium with the other brands has to be there to maintain the volume numbers. No, understood. But the uh, Lakshmi and uh, Wonder Cement's uh, plan of putty, that is based on white cement of uh, domestic uh, source or this is more on the imported uh, 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 white cement? It doesn't matter whether they take domestic white cement or they take imported white cement. That is immaterial because the white cement component is only, uh, you know, between 16 to 18 percent. So it really doesn't matter and uh, whether they take, they will take white cement either from us uh, or BW. And even imported it will be us or BW because there are, uh, mostly the, all the imports are being done from UAE. It is rack white and us. So, Rackwise uh, is going uh, now, uh, Altatech is the owner of, more or less becoming the owner of Rackwise, so it will again be Altatech or us. So, that is there, but again they uh, try and take, uh, you know, the other 80% of the raw material uh, is local dolomite. So, they are trying to, whatever, uh, uh, try and uh, capitalize on that local dolomite. And their existing whatever dealer network and retailer network and and uh, and use that for the sale. So, you know, they are not investing uh, so much, uh, or they are not investing anything on branding, they are not investing anything on after sales service and all. They are only leveraging their uh, clear cement uh, network. As far as Wonder is concerned, he is leveraging his Marvel network also. 
understood. So is it safe to say that these margins, let's say for us, overall margins for the white segment business, are they are they seen slipping below the grey business uh, as we speak or they are still yeah, yeah, at par? Yeah, yeah. Mostly, presently it would be at par, you know, when you, if you see even last fiscal, I would see both margins are more or less same. And what we had an advantage in the white business having, you know, uh, 25 to between, ranging between 25 to 30 percent. So, those good days are no more there. So, we would see, you know, I mean, in line going forward, it, you know, it could be marginally in line with the good, uh, with the paint companies, margins of around 15 percent or so. Understood. So, just one last question, if I may. Uh, paint, uh, since like, you know, Acro Paints uh, uh, will get, in a way, formally uh, integrated with us uh, from SY24. So, what kind of revenue and margin guidance if you could just help us with that? So, see, again as a plan, you know, earlier why uh, I was entering into, uh, with, with the paint, earlier plan was, you know, we'll put up our plant and then also develop a market and, uh, you know, there'll be a lot of investments in terms of the market development and all. With the acquisition of uh, Acro Paint, you know, a lot of expenditure towards uh, market development, the formulation, that, that has been, you know, we have been, we should be able to save substantially over there. So, uh, though, you know, we had, uh, even in the paint business in the initial years, uh, projected a uh, higher, uh, you know, loss in terms of uh, operating loss for uh, the first three years. Substantially, when, when we were looking at the capital investment was, you know, only about 300, 300 uh, crores. And, uh, and balance 350 crores, 300 crores was going in terms of partially for uh, working capital and, and the losses. So we would, uh, we definitely going for see that the losses figure should be substantially reduced uh, because the acro existing is not a loss making company. We will try and work out, leverage that and, uh, you know, our uh, own putty uh, network to grow into the, to grow uh, the market and uh, so what we, we we shall be doing that uh, and so I mean having said so uh, yes uh, to create a brand there would there would be certain expenses but we do not expect you know huge losses in the paint business in the first year but and on the top line is suppose Acro has you know top line of net of around uh, 80, 70, 80 crores. We expect that, you know, uh, end of uh, in FY24, uh, we should be able to do a total, uh, you know, at least uh, 50 to, whenever 50 percent increase, maybe uh, 75 percent increase on the top line. Great. That's very helpful and all the very best for our ventures. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Final reminder, and no further reminders will be announced. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Vebo Agarwal for closing comments. Yeah, thank you. On on behalf of Philip Capital in the Revolution Limited, I would like to thank Manny J.P. for the call or also thank many of the participants for joining the call. Uh, thank you very much, sir, and we uh, will now conclude the call. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. On behalf of Philip Capital India Private Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us. You may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.